Hi. You know, I think I think we're out here um, mostly because we we really want to raise awareness um, of of the, the the trash problem here uh, at Institute Park, beautiful Institute Park, and I think. Um, you know, the whole point of the exercise is sort of to send a message uh, to the city of Worcester and the Parks Department um, about about litter and uh, and the fact that you know so many so many of these trash cans here and and there are very few are, are tipped over all the time. And so I think um, I think our, our our ideal our uh, our message is that um, the city of Worcester needs to take responsibility. And, uh, and put some more trash cans out here, maybe make them a little more stable. So I think, I think that's really what we're doing out here. Hi, I like to go for runs in the park. I was just on my daily run. And there's usually litter around because people don't use the trash cans properly, usually because they're tipped over. And usually, you know, people can do things, something like this. I think that I may need to explain this to people because it may seem counterintuitive. But what we're actually trying to do here is 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 show the parks department about these trash cans. They're on the ground. They're on the ground. And that's not good enough. So it just it's it's hard, you know it's hard to convey a message, but but this but this is what we're doing. The real danger in this situation is the fact that there's a tree right above us. And in this situation, we could have possibly a squirrel maybe fall out of the tree into a trash can. This trash can is completely uncovered. It's, it's so unsafe. It can fill with rainwater. A squirrel could drown. And I don't like to see dead squirrels, so. In this situation, it's particularly dangerous. We have uh, we have a telephone pole, and um, we have very high <laughs> voltage. <laughs> In this situation, it's particularly dangerous because we have power lines, and as most people know, power lines. <laughs> In this situation, it's in this situation, it's particularly hazardous because we have power lines. As everyone knows, power lines are extremely dangerous. Any spark could fall down and light this trash on fire, and we could have a fire in the middle of this park. that would be awful. In addition, these trash cans attract bees. There are bees currently swarming my legs. It's a very dangerous situation. <laughs> Climb the tree! No! <laughs> decided to do here, um, instead of just leaving the trash cans tipped over, we've decided to attempt to construct a pyramid-like like structure um, in the middle of the park. And uh, in that sense, we're trying to draw attention to the fact that... <laughs> what we've decided to do um, rather than simply leave the trash cans overturned is uh, we've decided to construct a, a pyramid-like 
structure. And, uh, what my associate Eric is doing is he's attempting to stack the trash cans. Second time today. <laughs> so what we've decided to do now is rather than leave the trash cans tipped over in the middle of just in the middle of the park, uh, we've decided to draw attention to our cause by constructing a pyramid-like structure out of the trash cans themselves and air just second time today. <laughs> what we've decided to do now is rather than leave the trash cans tipped over, we've decided to draw attention to our cause by constructing a pyramid. What Eric is trying to do here is, is construct this pyramid in a unique fashion. Let's see. Second time today. I don't know what to say. It's when something like that falls over, it, it makes you just sort of want to quit. But I think I feel like we're we're getting to know the park better. Getting to know the trash cans. So day's work completed. We have uh, this structure, which seems to uh, seems to mark this occasion. It um, it speaks to a clean park and um, the responsibility of the city and the parks department. So, I think our work here is finished, Eric.